Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hansel here, back at you with another commentary video. And this time it's going to be a 3v3 arena commentary. In this video, we're actually running Volcano Cleave, which consists of Fire Mage, Elemental Shaman, and Resto Druid. And we're going up against uh, multiple games of KFC. So the KFC we're fighting is a, it's actually a pretty good KFC. They're, they're not bad at all. We're playing at 2100 to 2200 Evermar. And uh, this is my first time trying out this comp. But it's actually very, very strong. Uh, we first some some weak teams and some very strong teams, and ended up going around 18 and 2. I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get started. All right, so we start off a match by going on the left side of the bridge. I invis pretty late, but it's okay because I don't get hunters marked. The warrior rambles into us. I get a full sheep onto him. The pally instantly dispels it, but this is actually good because the pally's dispel is now on cooldown, so we're free to CC anything else without having to worry of them getting dispelled. Alright, so the warrior actually gets knocked off here, which is perfect. My infernal boss is coming back up. That means I'm getting a hot streak proc any second now. I push in, waste my blink. I get full hodge. Since I don't have a blink, I can't blink it. So instead, I trinket it. Deep, the hunter, blink at the pally. Uh, alter time, pyro, pyro into his face. The hunter trinkets and the turns is right away. Right here, the warrior is coming back to the team right now. So I get a double breath on him. Pally gets full hex. The pally trinkets it. I drop a ring, and the warrior now fears me. The shaman instantly tremors it, and the enemy pally gets full cloned right here. So this is a perfect time for us to swap the hunter and get some damage pumping into him. Right here, my healer actually gets lullaby into a scatter trap. And right here, I get two procs. So I try to get a half shape on pally. I know by the hunter and start pumping those pyros into him. The warrior actually pops recklessness here, so I have to pull back and peel for my partners a little bit. I short sheep the pally right here, and the warrior gets blinded, and full sheep on his recklessness, and avatar. So the alley and I try to connect back to this hunter right here. Uh, the pally pops our mastery right here, my infernal boss is actually coming back up, so I can get a hot streak proc. But perfectly, the warrior stuns me and refreshes my heating up proc. So this puts me way behind on the fight, but I say fuck it, and I deep the hunter, blanket pally, and get a hot streak proc that way. The hunter actually uses a second trinket because he's beast mastery. Pally gets cloned out of the blanket, so this is our chance to burst the hunter. I can bust in here, get a full sheep on the pally out of that clone, and there goes the hunter's last of turns. So we are way ahead. The pally actually bubbles my poly as well. Uh, there goes a the clone on the hunter, so he can't get topped off. While that clone is going on, I'm going to shoot the warrior here to peel for my shaman. Right here goes a power shot right into the shaman. The shaman is in so much trouble. I need to peel for him. This is not looking good for us at this point. I breath the hunter, and I'm just trying to peel right here. I deep him and blanket the hot pally so he can't dispel it. Get a bit of counter pressure on this hunter here, but it doesn't seem like it's enough. I don't have anything but a ring down, so I drop the ring. I try to shoot the warrior and just peel as much as I can for the shaman because he just can't do anything right now. He's just getting rided on. Right here, I actually decide to swap pally. I call it out, and I alter time two pyros into him. And then those crits, so I get a heating up, throw that in, and there goes my third pyro. Throw that in, combust, three seconds stun on him, into a full blanket, into a full hex, and there he goes. There down goes the pally. Good game, good game. Alright, so as you can see, a very effective way of killing a KFC is just getting through the pally's trinket and bubble. Because after that, they're nothing. They have nothing to, you know, stop your CC, whatever, except for like sack. And they're gonna have to line us out like crazy. So if you see them in the open like that, that's a perfect time to swap and just get a kill. So yeah, uh, you don't even have to go through the hunter's deterrence or whatever. You just have to make sure to get those effective swaps in the pally. Because after, like I said, after trinket and bubble, they're done for. Alright guys, so it's not very hard to get a Paladin's Trinket. So for example, opening with a deep on the Hunter and blanketing Pally already gives you a good start if you have a hot streak proc. So if none of them trinket, it's already GG. So they will have to trinket at least one of them. But this is kind of challenging, especially since the Hunter has more than one trinket as Beast Mastery. So you just have to burn through their cooldowns and then kill them afterwards. So let me show you an example clip of this. Alright, so in this clip, once again, I start with the poly on the warrior. He gets instantly dispelled. The spell gets on cooldown again. I infernal blast the warrior to start off my combo right here. Dot him up fully. My druid actually decides to clone him. Almost gets reflected, but luckily enough, it lands, which is probably latency. Right here, I infernal blast again for my hot streak proc. Reapply living bomb on the warrior, and I'm ready to deep him in blanket pally. And watch what happens if none of them trinkets. 
What, what did I tell you? you? You need to trink it. One of them needs to trink it. So I know this looks easy, but good good comps and good players will trink it. These guys, they're not bad players or anything, but I guess they just weren't expecting that burst. So yeah, um, the one thing you have to know is to survive their burst though. Uh, once you survive their burst, you should be good. So their burst includes, uh, you know, Zoo, uh, Recklessness, Avatar, uh, Power Shot, and all those. Once you survive those, you are good to go. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. And also comment on what you thought about it. It actually really helps me out and also motivates me to make more videos when it shows that people are actually watching. And also, uh, if you guys did enjoy this, feel free to subscribe to be updated for more videos. I release one or two videos a week now. Also, I have this video in Skype version. So if you guys want to see these clips and extra, because uh, in that... This video only included two games, but there's another video with four games, including Skype Combo. So if you want to see us communicate and just see how we play and listen, uh, go check that out. I'm sure you'll like it. Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Good luck and keep burning shit. I'll catch you guys in the next video.